Over the past week, the U.S. stock market has remained relatively unchanged. However, on Friday evening, the situation changed drastically. Almost all stocks fell rapidly. What was the reason for such a drop? Watch our video review and find out why bears suddenly took control over the equity market. Overall, the U.S. stock market ended the week in the red due to a negative dynamic in the financial and commodity sectors. The Dow Jones fell to the level of 34,100. Experts foresee an even deeper decline in the quote to 33,800 points. The bearish trend is associated primarily not with the earnings reports, but with the worrying epidemiological situation and the risks of new quarantine restrictions. Last week, the S&P 500 index also extended losses due to the same reasons. Investors are afraid of a possible slowdown in the economic recovery, so they are selling off some shares. Many analysts believe that the bearish trend will persist in the market for some time. Some experts even advise buying shares while their value is falling. The S&P 500 index has already sunk to 4,270 points. However, this is a temporary decrease. Experts assume that the index may drop to 4,200 or near this level. In the midterm, the index is highly likely to recover. So now there is a good opportunity to bet on its future increase. The Nasdaq Composite also resumed the downward trend. Shares of high-tech companies, namely Apple, Netflix, Facebook lost approximately 1-3% during last week. However, the situation has already improved as many IT giants have recouped their losses. This is why the outlook for the Nasdaq index remains positive. It's likely to trade in the range of 14,000-14,500. 14, as for the reporting season, we have identified several key companies that have shown good financial results over the past six months. For example, the market value of AutoNation rose by 0.1%. The U.S. automotive retailer managed to increase its net profit in the second quarter. Besides, the results significantly exceeded market expectations. The shares of CalMain Foods began to decline after the announcement of a drop in revenue. Now, a small correction has formed on the chart on which one may also earn money. Shares of Apple, Facebook and Netflix are now showing a similar correction. After the decrease over the past week, their shares have grown slightly. Wall Street traders are cautious amid a significant slowdown in household income growth and in the economy. However, this is likely to be a temporary drop, so do not miss our video reviews as we constantly monitor the market in order to tell you the most important news. You've watched weekly financial review with me, Anna Kasatkina. Stay tuned.